Actually, this is a really good PC, but yeah, should be recording now. So we are uh, semi-live playing our first edition Dungeons & Dragons game, uh, the Linder Isle campaign now. Uh, some problems with my internet, it can't sustain a Twitch stream feed, so we're just recording locally and I'll push this up later as a VOD file. So just real quick, I'll go across the bottom this time. Oak. Go ahead and introduce yourself, anything you want to plug, and who are you playing? What level are they? We're going to plug first tonight or wait till the end? You can go ahead and plug first. Okay, uh, this is Oak. I'll be, or tonight, I will be playing Cyborg. He is a half-orc fighter. Uh, very ugly, very not charming. And if you want to see me get up to antics with stuff that's not just an ugly half-orc fighter, you can catch me on Twitch and YouTube at Urians. That's U-R-A-E-N-C-E. And I run and play in some 5e stuff on Friday and Saturday nights starting at midnight. Richard. Ah, hello there. I am Richard, and I am playing Tristan, the Renumeration Redistribution Specialist, level one thief. Uh, you can find me playing video games on Twitch under the name LMTDTMFFR, or say it with me now, limited time offer, no vowels. Those vowels are missed. <laughs> Jen. Hi, my name is Jen. Uh, I you can also find me on the internet playing games of all sorts and shapes and sizes. I typically play Animal Crossing in the mornings. Um, I'm affiliate now, so I have emotes, which is fantastic. Uh, thank Ooh. you, thank you, friend, for my emotes for making me emotes. Um, yeah, every morning from like between like 9 30 and 11 a.m eastern standard time i'm typically playing animal crossing and then many nights of the week you can find me on various tabletop rpg channels channeling my inner multiple personalities into characters tonight i'm playing odette of lion woods uh she is a disney princess druid who makes friends with creatures of all shapes and sizes just like the video games that i play and that's me emphasis on makes friends mm -hmm. make my friends <laughs> Friended. i get by with a little help from my gens no so uh i'm friendin you can find me on the internet at slash friendin basically everywhere i don't know i'm a serial joiner what can i say and uh i draw stuff for tabletop for a living you can check out my twitch to watch me do that you can also play tabletop there and video games there um so I, I'm kind of around, I do a lot of stuff, and I'm playing Grown Wolf, who's a magic user, who has a propensity to stuff things in his mouth he shouldn't, and has the accompanying gastrointestinal distress that one would expect uh, at Bert's discretion, which I am endlessly tickled by. So thank you, Bert, for having me. This is why moms often tell their children, don't put that in your mouth. Dion! <laughs> Hello, I'm Dion, also known as Substances Used on Twitch. Um... I uh, do a lot of gaming as well on my channel, and I'm on various channels as well, doing D&D &D and other tabletop RPGs. Uh, Tuesdays is here, Wednesdays is on Defenders of Cobalt with Spectaculars, Thursdays is Monster of the Week on Friendin's channel, Fridays is here again on Steam Still Murder with Mr. Burt, Saturday's coming soon is going to be a 5th edition campaign called Silence in the Library over on Fulsham Arts channel starting at the end of the month, probably, so keep an eye out for that. And that's going to be on Saturdays, right? Yeah, and I don't do anything on Sundays yet. That would so, be yeah. the 12-step the program for all the games you're playing. Yeah, yeah I'm, I'm, <laughs> and I think they're all different editions, too. That's the hard part. <laughs> Uh, tonight I am playing NPC, the human PC that is level two, and uh, yeah, she's uh, she's here. All right, and I'm Bert, this lab on the inner tubes, sort of broadcasting from my man cave tonight. Uh, check us out on twitch.tv, Steam Steel Murder, and uh, Blue Magic, B L U M A G I K dot com for the podcast, which I really need to update. But guys, what happened last week? Somebody almost got cooked, slathered down with a bunch of pork fat. Uh mm -hmm. <laughs> So I remember more what happened less than where we exactly ended up. But basically, we went to the woodcutter's house. There was a bit of an ambush. We ended up captured. We fought our way out. And um, where we left off after that is where I'm a little hazier. 
Well, don't forget we were betrayed and captured. That's right. That's mm-hmm. right. And then we found some uh, assassins waiting for us on the road. We befriended my friend one now. of them. No, no, no. Uh, we we got to go back to the crows. Yeah, I think we should maybe <gasps> the crows try. with the eyes. <laughs> I think we should also try and rest if possible because I'm I'm hurting. <laughs> so yeah, so you guys were on the road back to uh, uh, to to the village um, after befriending a soldier that was specifically sent here to look out for people coming back to the village. Uh, you were able to positively identify Telish as uh, the leader of uh, some organization within the fit, uh, city, which this uh, guard is also a member of as well. Um, so you guys are, you know, within spitting distance of the gates of the city. Uh, resting out here, well, it's, it's up to you what you want to do. But Garotten is uh, a few stone throws away. <laughs> yeah, and resting in Garotten might be dangerous too. Yeah, things um, are Garotten in Denmark for sure at the moment. Um, I wonder if I could just pay a cleric to heal me. I don't have any gold. <laughs> we did make friends with uh, Harper from the church. We could maybe yeah, make our way over there. Who's technically is the only cleric that can heal you in the village. As uh... <laughs> Yeah, because the rest were charlatans, right? Yeah. Maybe we should bring him with us for like Backup, extra cause... security. Yeah. Ooh, he, he might re- actually be lucid enough to remember that things did not go down like the woodcutter said. And he's our pal now. Maybe, hmm. maybe not. But we should bring him anyways. Preferably so I can get healed. <laughs> yeah. So, Not so uh, much. Yeah. So um, our understanding is that um, what's her name? Oh no, I can't remember her name. Uh, Arness. Arness has no idea what's happening, and that Telish is the leader of the Assassins Guild. Brooks, formerly of Garth Brooks, but now just Brooks, uh, if I remember correctly, their names uh, is willing <laughs> to share this information with Arness if we do go back so there's we have options um knowing that we have this guard who is willing to spill the beans and kind of talk about the whole operation because he's our friend now that's right you you jedi mind tricked him mm-hmm. for at least three weeks three weeks is amazing we should definitely make sure we bring him with us to the council for evidence so, Do we want to stop by Harper and see if he can at least help Dion then, and then move on from there? Yep, yep. let's so, fix so, NPC. So yep. going to the church does require you to go into Garotten. It's basically right in the middle of Garotten. <laughs> so. Do we want to risk going to Garotten? Did uh, What's-His-Face come back here at all? Does our buddy know? Well, the crows well, told you that actually uh, Telish yeah. went in the opposite direction. He went towards the yeah. coast. With right. more guards. Mm-hmm. And nobody went this way. So, well, I mean, some would went he have this a way. way to... Like the guard that you're oh. a friend with now went this way. Ooh, yeah. You know what? We do know we have allies that were trying to uncover this Assassin's Guild as well. So, getting more people on our side wouldn't be the worst thing if we swung by the actor and said, like, hey, we have a guard willing to talk. We need all the bodies we can to help muster a, an offense here. Yeah. Like we could but, kind of rally the troops a bit, like Dortmunder style, and get the whole right. crew together. Ocean's the bar- Eleven ten- style. Yeah. The bartender's still locked up, I think, so. Yeah, and he'd be a character witness for the bartender, worst case, too, because they were both working on the same thing. Yeah, let's do it. I mean, hopefully we can... Hopefully no one's looking for us. Right, so everything I've heard so far still requires you to go into town. So you are right. going into town? Yeah. I'm inclined to. Yes. Oh, God, I'm going to regret this, aren't I? All right. Well, you guys should be on the map there. Um, let me get onto it myself here. Do we know another way into the town at all? Rather than, like, I was going to say the main gates, but it's not really a walled. Yeah, I don't think it's even walled in, It's not, it? no. So we could come from anywhere. Is there I believe we're close perimeter? enough to one of the edges. We should be able to just sneak around towards our house. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You guys are actually coming in. Let me just pop it on the map here. Yeah, we were okay. 46. Why well, we are we 47? Well, you're coming in on this road right here. We were in 47. Uh, okay. What road? I'm so sorry. I the didn't top see right. The north. Top right. Okay. So 
that's close to the inn. Um, where's the theater in conjunction to the inn? Conjunction, is that the right word? Mm -hmm. I don't know. Conjunction, junction, what's your function? Let's see, the inn, oh. the, the list is on the side of the, uh, the map there. Oh, 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 I just didn't scroll enough. Okay, so sorry. Um, well, the theater's right on the way in, so maybe we should go to the theater. And get then costumes. The church is... Oh, we could get costumes. Good idea. Where's the church? Oh, it's a little deeper in. We could follow the side road and then cut through. Or we could take the wilderness all the way around, coming by through the trees behind our place. Yeah. Your place is conveniently located at the very edge of the town. Mm -hmm. um, the theater's right on the way from where we're at. So what's 13, though? General That's... store. Oh, Life. Lydia wouldn't care. We spent money there. Okay. <laughs> we bought your I stuff. Mean, we cool, right? We cool. You know, honestly, it's not the worst logic for this town. Like, <laughs> currency seems to be more important than morals, so... <laughs> It's also highly unlikely that this information has infiltrated the sum total of the town. Like, we might just right. avoid the right. tower, right. assuming assuming that we don't believe that that we could get Brooks to talk us out of all of this. Like, to un uncover all of this stuff. So Right. right. Yeah, if Brooks has, then we're done. <laughs> so, Brooks uh. is the guard with us, right? <laughs> Yes, mm -hmm. Brooks is the one who survived. He has both his eyes. H yes. How did you know to wait for us then, Brooks? Oh, hey, I was told to wait along and see if anyone was coming back this way. I was actually uh, waiting for Tullish to send some more word back. Was it Tullish that told you? Right. Yeah. Told you. When did Tullish tell you? Hours, hours ago. <laughs> right, so after we had left with him? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, so yeah. You guys are supposed to be to dead. Did you know that? You're, you're awfully, like, kind of pushes on your skin you're, you're awfully like you know warm and breathing for a dead man so the I'm message easy. so the message he's been telling i'm, I'm gonna i'm gonna turn to, to brooks and say tellish is not our friend anymore oh he's not obviously yeah i mean you guys are all supposed to be like you know crap out of an ogre's butt by now i mean is he telling everybody that we're dead well, well you know just those of us that are you know part of the guild and all in the know yeah. what's he telling can people you... who aren't in the guild oh nothing I... okay can you uh can you write down briefly like the the 10 most prominent folks that you know that are in the <laughs> guild oh no i i can't write yeah well can no you no time for us? that i can't write i love him i love him so much <laughs> that requires education you know hey who's got time for education Oh, I totally agree. Education is a real bummer. <laughs> uh -huh. Can you identify them? Well, I know I know some of them. I mean, not we don't know everybody that's in the guild. Kind of a protection thing, of course. Of course, Tellish knew everybody, uh, but okay. we only know certain people. So, you know, I, of course, I knew Tellish was the leader of the guild. Uh, there's uh, Gellis over at the castle. Uh, there's uh, Bosmar down at the end. He's a smuggler, by the way. Hey, if you need anything. Yeah. He's the guy, man. He can get you anything. Sweet. Thanks for the hookup. I appreciate it. So, uh, if you recognize anyone from the guild, um, could you do your best friend Odette here a favor and make sure that they are distracted and don't see us? Because we are just trying to make our way through, like, see a couple people, make our way up to the castle, and we'll sort things out up there, you know? We just want to... Oh, yeah, but like I said, first. I mean, each of us only know a handful of others, you know, just the yeah, ones yeah, that yeah. we immediately work with and all, so... Uh, yeah, so... Yeah. Is, there, just... is there, like, any identifying, like, hey, hello, sign-off kind of signal any handshake any any oh we got this really cool like handshake <laughs> so it doesn't show yeah, he like, shows you this greeting thing that. no it's just like when he goes to shake your hand he pulls in the, the pinky and oh. the, uh, he grips your your uh this finger with his as he shakes oh thanks for teaching me bud and then i immediately show everyone else <laughs> <laughs> Hey, you know, normally I'd have to kill you for showing you that, but since, you know, you're already dead now, right? I mean... Yeah, we're dead and we're best friends. Uh, not really. I mean, I like her okay. You're kind of a crapper. I mean, you smell like... Has anyone it's... told you you smell bad? I mean, really? Yes. 
I mean, your yes. friend over here pointing at NBC smells great. I mean, mm-hmm. I, man, I don't know Ew. what you wash in, but whoo, I'm getting hungry. Uh, uh, oh, yeah. <laughs> you smell like I look. <laughs> oh, yeah, You're you right. ugly. You ugly. <laughs> well, you know what? I apologize for my smell. But uh, so through the transitive property, I'm best friends with the person that you love. So we kind of have similar interests, right? Uh, I guess. I mean, you know, I wouldn't, you know, stick a dagger in your side without being paid for it first. Hey, that's I mean, all I'm know. asking for. That's all I'm asking for. And I, and I give around. him a secret handshake. Silver you know, piece? Like, Anybody? Take my Silver pockets. piece? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, no money here. Sorry. <laughs> no, no, really, though. Uh, yeah, anybody that I know, sure, I'll, I'll point them out to you, no problem. Um, but Thank you. I, I only know a few people. Um, we, we work this way. You know, there's a few of us that work together. Mm-hmm. Um, if we need an extra person, tell us we'll hook us up with that extra person. Uh, there's at least four or five groups active in the town. No, I mean, I would think there's probably 20 ish of us around. Okay. okay. All right. Well, let's uh let's go to the theater. We got to go see a buddy about a thing. Oh, that guy's trouble. I mean, you don't want to go there. That guy's trouble. Well, he's got a he's he's a witness for the thing we're looking into and we he we just it's a formality thing. So we just got to bring him with us. Like we just gotta suck it up for now, you know. Like theater stuff isn't really my style either. It, uh... yeah, I guess, I guess. So, uh, and she's looking over at uh, um, Odette. So you're you and Tellish not so not so much buddies anymore. So I shouldn't it's put a crossbow fault. bolt into your friends here because that's kind of it's... what I was told to do if I saw, you know, anybody. Coming yeah, these through. are these are all our friends. These are our friends. And just okay. assume that anybody Tellish told you was a bad person is now a friend. Okay? Oh. Just assume anybody that Tellish told you was somebody that you weren't supposed to like is now your friend. He was lying to you. He's a bad guy. He's a bad oh. guy. Well, I mean, that's unfortunate because I'm pretty sure Tellish was going to go and kill somebody tonight. Oh. Oh, who was Telish going to go kill? Well, I, yeah, I don't know. Telish it was more. it was his own thing. You know, he didn't want any of us us around. Like he's uh he's got this thing with some of the raiders, you know. You know, he, oh, tell, so he, he tells him when you. he tells him when the docks will have particularly good things around and he cuts a deal with some other of the merchants to make sure their stuff isn't there when the raiders attack. So he's got a little sympathetic Protection thing going racket. on, but they're uh-huh. taking him somewhere and I'm pretty sure he had a contract to kill somebody uh tonight. Tonight you, uh, or tomorrow, something like that. Where? Do you know, like, yeah, yeah, that's a good question. Exactly, <laughs> NPC. I know. I mean, where? No idea. I mean, he's taking a um, boat. I mean, that's kind of you know what you get these raiders mm-hmm. for. I think they, they got nice boats. Not so great on hygiene. Nice boats. Do you know why he's going to kill somebody? I'm why was this contract something? put out? I mean, what'd you say? He talked a little bit about it. He's you know, tell us he's pretty good about keeping his you know tongue in his mouth, not wagging it around any, but. I caught a little bit of a conversation, something about tying up loose ends. Is there anybody else who who might know who Tellish might have told? Like somebody higher up in the guild? Uh well Tellish is it. I mean, like he's he is the okay. guild. Uh the rest of us, you know, are either trained by him or had certain skills coming into this and he recruited us, but you know, like I said, we we work in cells, and my cell wasn't really involved in this, so I don't know if he took some other guys with him or if it's just his thing. I don't know. I, I really can't tell you. Okay. Well, uh, we have one quest to turn in, and that's that we know who killed the Baron. So. Oh, really? Yeah. Who's that? Didn't didn't he tell... Wait, I'm sorry. Wait, hold on. Hand on head moment. I could have sworn that Brooks told us that Tellish was the one who organized... The Baron's death. I thought he's okay. I'm <laughs> consulting my notes. Tell us is the is the head of the guild, which you're assuming to mean the Assassin's Guild. Right. So that's yeah. the thing we learned and we we jumped yeah. the extra hoop, basically. Okay. So yeah, it's possible. I mean, you know, he was gone around okay. that time and came you know, back you the know next if the day. Guild, okay. You know if the guild had a vested interest in, in the Baron's death? Well, if somebody paid it, sure. I mean, okay, so that would be the only reason. Like, the Baron wasn't anti mm, what y'all were up to in any particular way, or as far as you knew? 
No, and, I mean, you know, as things go, our guild's pretty, you know, we take in money, we do a thing. We're not very mm -hmm. political. I mean, political gets I, in the way. I mean, if you're if you're doing the that. politics, you really can't take the money under certain circumstances, you know. So we stay out of the politics. Does yeah. your guild have a headquarters hey. here in Karatan? Well, not so much. I mean, or where y'all hang out and change? We hang out at the inn. Um, you know, Telus just got a room in the castle that we use every now and then. Uh, that's just my cell, though. I don't know where the rest of the guys, you know, they, they've got their own thing going. Maybe you could um, go find some information out for us. Uh, look at Odette. And then meet us back at Harper's. What do you think, Odette? Hmm. Let's, let's do it. We'll make sure not to mention about us, though. Yeah, but maybe find out as much as you can about this target tonight with Telish. Um, NPC, what were you thinking? Um, I was. Oh God, I, I think is that, I forgot. Is that <laughs> Sorry if I ever talked <laughs> to Dion. I apologize. About... No, it's okay. It was about Tullish. Um, I think. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Is Tellish like good at disguising himself or like? Oh yeah, like he's other great. People, he is or... great at that. That's that's why I need to know. Okay, has he ever like copied the theater dude or the innkeep? Uh, Abraham, I don't know. Those guys those guys have been making trouble for us uh, a lot. You know, they they know that our guild is around and exists. I mean, they've got some history with some of the prior members. Uh, maybe with Tellish himself, but he stays away from them. I don't know if it's a recognition thing, like they might recognize him from the past or not. But no, he doesn't mm. stay around very often. But I tell you, he's really good. Like it's not just like you know wearing the yeah. clothes and getting the face down. Like, he really studies his targets. Like he can walk just like them. He mm. sounds pretty close. You know, if you're not directly talking to him, he can sound pretty okay. close. He does his homework. He's, he's really right. good. He's really good. Um. You know, speaking of the past, that brought one more question that I just thought of. Uh, the Hell House. You know the Hell House in town, right? Oh, yeah, 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 that place. Uh, you guys ever do anything with that back when? Oh, that was, that was, that was, was before that you my guys? time. That was before my time. Uh, yeah, I think we had something to do with, yeah, there were some people living there, and we needed, um, we were paid to get some documents, but that was before my time. That was a different crew. Okay, cool. Thank you. I was just like, I, I, I'm curious about local history, you know? Yeah, I'm not sure of that. I mean, I don't, I think maybe those people were part of the guild and they took some documents or, or we needed the documents. I, it was too long ago. I don't I don't remember the yeah, whole we thing behind that. Stories, so they, they died of a uh, disease and then someone else said that they uh, looked like raiders killed them. Oh, yeah, that's, that was really weird. You know, that was all the church. We had nothing to do with that. Like, we didn't even try to cover anything up. And, like, the church came in, and apparently there was some property in dispute, so they made up this whole thing about a plague. And, we, you know, of course, we can't dispute them. I mean, we weren't supposed to be there and all. But, uh, yeah, it's it's really, really odd. You know anything about the uh, young girl with the uh, unknown origin that seemed to be I – mean, she she – definitely dead by the way but do you know why people were interested in her origin oh no, no like i said this is this is before i joined the guild i mean i just okay. you know caught some things on hearsay about the place i don't i don't know anything specific about it okay thank you hmm. anytime sorry i Stack smell bad later. and then i go for the high five <laughs> hmm. so you guys are still approaching town while this is going on i take it so how much do you get paid for all of this? I mean, must well, it depends. I mean, it's not all about stabbing in back alleys. I mean, you know, honestly, that doesn't pay so great unless the person's, you know, of some value. Uh, a lot of times it's stealing stuff, forging documents, um, creating incidents like the disguise thing. You know, uh, Telus has been teaching some of us about that. So we'll stage an incident. So, you know, we look like someone else did it and, you know, word of mouth gets around. So we... I guess we can, uh, you can say we killed his reputation. Yeah, see, we do that. That pays pretty good, actually. Oh, Knife right. in the ribs? <sighs> not so much. Not so much. All right. Are you so interested? I mean, we can talk to Telish and, 
You know, you know, you look like you might have some skills. I'm uh, more freelance, I'm afraid. Ah, uh, okay. Well, just don't do it around here. I mean, because Telus finds out you're freelancing, you're not paying dues. Get ugly. Don't worry. Ugly. You'll make sure you never find out if I do anything around here. Well, I mean, you're supposed to be dead already anyway, so, I mean, yeah. he's going to kill you twice. Ah. Hmm. Hmm. So anybody can afford your services, really, but to take out a the uh, the name Baron. of the person who was do, we're investigating the death of, yeah, the Baron. whose okay. name yeah. temporarily saves me, that... Yeah, high, high value targets high. like that. I mean, Telus, if it's political, Telus usually handles that himself. Uh, you know, he doesn't want any mistakes. Uh, yeah. The, the okay. guild isn't, I mean, Telus is the most accomplished amongst us, the next most. Um, I don't know, maybe uh, maybe my friend Gellis at the castle, he's pretty good too. But Telus wouldn't farm out something that important. Like if, mm. if you're meddling in politics or, I mean, again... You know, I, I can't. I can't say what the reason was, but I know he got paid. Telish doesn't do anything without getting paid. Uh, I can't remember the name of the lady that had the servant, which had the the brooch Arnes. that we were tracking. Arnes, Arnes. was it? You yeah. Said? yeah. I'm gonna ask him if uh, if he knows that if she'd ever had any business with the guild. Oh no, no, I don't. I don't think she has any idea we're around. I mean, I mean, it's possible. I mean, her and Telish. You know, they, they. I mean, he's part of the council. You know, mm -hmm. I mean, she may suspect something, but I don't think she knows anything. Okay, that's helpful. Thank you. I mean, I could be wrong. She could be really good too. But sure, as far as sure. I know. Well, well then, do, do man, we your friend here is making me really hungry. You think we can start stop at like the inn or something? Uh, well, how about you go on to the inn and meet us back with, uh, at Harmon's place? I can go with him. We'll meet you. I can go with him to the inn. You want to go with him? Yeah. Go with okay, we'll go to the theater, because me sure and uh, Grim Wolf talk to yeah, the I'll, theater I'll go dude. Well, oh, hey, you know, Bosmar, he's part of my crew. He might be down at the inn. He usually stays there. He's got a room there. Should I tell him that, like, oh. you know, Telish is kind of an ass and stuff? And For now, no. Now, For let's now, just no. pretend that we're actually dead and you haven't seen because him. The problem is your friend isn't going to believe you, and so you have to just just keep it a secret between us, okay? Okay. Well, should should you be us. should you be going with him then, Oda? If if there's someone else there that knows about this stuff, I think we'll be okay. Okay. All right. Hey, uh, yeah, right. I'll save you a spot at the table. Um, cool. Hey, man, he's probably got some mutton going on tonight. I'll uh, hey, I'll make sure that. They save up a portion for you guys. We're not going to talk about anything that's happened today, okay? Well, I got to talk a little bit about what happens because Gellis is part of my band and he knew I went out with Telish to get some stuff done today. Well, mostly to get you guys killed. Um, so he's probably yeah, going to ask how that went. Uh, well, then just tell him we're all dead. Yeah. All right. Mm -hmm. Yeah, tell them that they took Garth out and you killed the last of us, mm -hmm. you know, heroically. Yeah, Just you were that. awesome today. Take the glory. Oh, yeah. That would you be a lie. Like, he would so know that's a lie. I don't do anything heroically. It's all, you know, behind the back, oh. stabby, stabby over here. Oh, well, then tell him you were super sneaky and, and you got the last of us then. Yeah, I, you couldn't I'll, save I'll Garth. I'll make it sound good. I, okay, yeah. okay, cool. Yeah. Aren't you going with Odette as well? Odette. Yeah, I was going to go with him. Yeah, so oh, you can hey. just say that, you know, you were working from the inside. And then between the two of you, you took us out. Let's do it. Honorary member. All right. Yeah. Exactly. New she knows team. the handshake. She knows the handshake. I know the She's handshake clearly now. in. He yeah. wouldn't know. I'm so glad I asked about the handshake. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's, it, 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 he's got like the best beers there, by the way. Have you been? Like, so you take. Yeah. Start Is there like a finish. guild challenge coin or anything? No, no. I mean, you know, that's kind of a waste of money. We keep all of our gold pretty tied up in things, so eh, nothing like that. It's more of a frat elf thing. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so, so it's just Odette, and uh, this. So his name is Sangster, but you're you're naming him Brooks, <laughs> so that's fine. <laughs> so Brooks is going. Uh, you and Brooks Odette are the only two going to the end. Okay. I think so. All right. Unless you want some extra muscle or something. 
Yeah, if you want help, I'd be willing to go, but otherwise I would go to the actor guy. Probably. Well, what are the rest of you doing or going? Are you all the rest of you going to the theater? Is that the idea? Yeah. Dion and I to talked to the... the dude before, right, Dion? Yeah. Yeah, we had talked to him before. Do you two want to just go get Harmon and try and get Harmon to just meet with us? And then we can all just reconvene quickly? Yeah, I don't have anything necessarily specific at the uh, where y'all are going, so... Yeah, maybe we can just get everything. I think we gotta move quickly here and try not to, you know, lollygag. Jeff would get on to us for that. Yeah, we don't want to lollygag. Jeff couldn't make this session. So. Yeah, <laughs> funny, funny. Uh, shout out to Jeff. All right, so hands up who is going to the church. Let's handle that first. Uh, it sounds like Richard and Oak are going to Harper. All right, so Thibor and, and Tristan. Harper, that's his name. Okay. All right, NPC, who are you going with? I'm going with Grown Wolf to the theater. Okay, that works. Uh, so, I mean, as you had party in, the church is a little bit in chaos right now. Uh, a little bit of house cleaning has been going on. There are a few low-level brothers that are still there, but basically the hierarchy is gone. Like, they were ran out of town, or they're being held, the ones they could catch, in prison currently. Um, so, Harper um, is... Actually, tending the, the the gardens that are on the the land of the the church there, and he's muttering to himself as uh, he's uh, planting a few seeds. Uh, you see a few of the uh, initiate brothers around that are kind of just standing back and like giving him tools when he's looking for a tool here and there, uh, but they seem to be giving him a lot of space. He looks really. Well, he looks better than the last time you saw him. His uh, his skin is a little healthier, you know, and he seems to be more possessed of his of his intellect. Uh, though he still gets a little scatterbrained as he's like, uh, "Give me that, uh, a hoe, sir, a hoe. Give me that." So you guys uh, come up, uh, the two of you come up upon him while he's in the fields doing this. No. Which two of us? Well, it's you and uh, okay. Tristan. Yeah. I'd missed which which yeah. pair. Mm -hmm. All right, <laughs> no judge. problem. <laughs> There's only three of us. And what's he trying to drive on? Yeah, he just noticed that you walked up, and he's he's in the middle of gardening. Okay. So he looks at you guys and like, hey, uh, hey, why don't you lend a hand? I could I can use a hand here. Uh, what are you doing? Go on. Weeding, weeding. Um, they really didn't take care of this place while I was gone. Yeah, maybe we can help you with that in a little while. We've got some business. Oh, oh, business. Um, what, what, what? Do we have business? No, we have business. You have business? Yes. I... And I just keep walking. Sure. So your business involves me how? We have no, a friend. It's... They I... need a hand. Do you come with us? Um, well, I'm the church is kind of needing some direction right now. I mean, what do you want? What do you need? I mean, it's going to take half an hour at most. Yeah, and then we can help. We're not going to take. Away. Then we can help the weeds. Um, we'll have extra hands. Haven't eaten today. Would this include food somewhere? Maybe some mutton. Ooh. Okay. Um, just wipes his hands on his smock, tucks his beard up out of it and it's like oh yeah let's go yeah he, he follows you lead them back to the theater i think we're meeting at theater we want to do the theater next that's right. where we yeah. were going to meet at. i can't remember okay, yeah, good good enough. On the map. what's the closest on the map to where where it makes the most sense well, the church is three, uh, so it is over here. All right, and we're where was the theaters the... over here? Yeah. At four. You can cut through the backyard and make it right to four. And then two is Abraham, so like it's all kind of in in an area together. Isn't Abraham still at the castle, or did he they is. release him? Yeah. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, but that's where his inn is. That's where Odette is headed. Right, so uh, let's let's do the theater then. So um, they are 
still outside uh, perfecting their lines. Uh, there's a little bit of a combat scene that they're using sticks in place of swords to uh, test out as you come in. Um, oh, sorry, here. Uh, Balmaro is uh, is here. He's broken a sweat. He's having a little bit of water. Uh, he's taking a break while he uh, is dictating lines to some of his other actors as you come up. Yo, uh, we. Hey, Balmaro. Oh. Well, again, we are not quite ready for the public. Uh, what can I do for no, you? That's today? okay. We need um we need an expert of the dramatics to uh come with us this is uh you're gonna love this you, we need you though it's kind of an emergency well i'm in the middle of something here can you elaborate you, a bit more about, what did you hear we... about abraham yes yes unfortunate uh ah. taken into custody this morning he's not appeared on the gallows though nor has there mm. been any uh, announcement so i hope all is well there do you know more we found yeah. out the head of the guilt he looks around. You say guild, you mean... Yes. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Well, uh... And we need everyone who knows anything about this situation how... to come with us to try to save Abraham's life and nail this person to the wall. And how sure we... are you of... The... I mean, we've been trying to find oh, I any like information a... about the guild for years. We charmed one of his cronies, and he spilled the beans on everything. Also, we want to get as many people on deck as possible, because what was his name? Gellish? Gellis? Gellish? No, the other one. The G. The secondary guy? The one that works at the castle, Gellish. Yeah. Yeah. That guy is uh, also one of them, and uh, we're going to the castle because we have to talk to Arness about something. And yeah, please help. We know we know everything down to their secret handshake, buddy. Mm -hmm. I am a little. Why do you need me? Uh, we can't identify anyone in the guild. We've not been able to find anyone. No, but you can provide some context for why Abraham is being framed, and that might be important to bolster things here. Give me a charisma check. Both of you guys. Okay. Oh, okay. I don't think that's my best stat, but I don't think it's terrible. How many rerolls do we have? <laughs> Damn, if only I were there to help with that. 14, I think. I rolled oh. under, at least. Okay. I was, okay. I'm a 10, and I rolled an 8. All right. If you want to spend one of those rerolls, you can, Dion. Uh, an 8, uh, he's, he's, like, he he's somewhat convinced. It. It's like, well, I want to... Sure, I'll do whatever I can for Abraham. I just don't know what my words mean to anyone. You're you're just an additional person with an interest in this situation who knows Abraham and knows Abraham to be someone who is working against people that, that may have it out for him. You also are clearly a man of renown and passion and able to word things far more eloquently than we could. And your assistance is valuable. All right, um, I can spare a few hours. Um, sure. Uh, he grabs a pouch and uh, I'll lead the way. Can you uh, bring your little uh, errand boy too? Can you can you string him along? No. Sure, sure. I'm curious as to why Dion out of character. What do you got in mind? <laughs> he knows information. It's just more That's ammo. Fair. He does. More yeah. 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 Okay. Um, sure. Are you. Take him in tow. Uh, is everybody converging at the end? Is that what's going on? It sounds kind of like yeah. it. Yeah. yeah, I think we're just going to meet outside. That was kind of the in-between point. So. Yeah, that's fair. Oak. That makes All right. Sense. Well, so let's go to the end first before you arrive. Odette, mm -hmm. um, Brooks uh, comes into the end first, and uh, he uh, waves at uh, Bas who must be Bosmar. Uh, you've seen him in here before, but you didn't know his name. Uh, who looks stunned uh, that he, you, Odette, is there. Um, and he's slowly dry. He draws out his dagger and just kind of lays it on the table, you know, just close by. Mm -hmm. And he's like, is there a problem? So I walk up to him and I put on my best tough face possible. <laughs> and I start doing like the secret handshake with him. Hmm. Okay. Um, he nods, 
And he says, have a seat. So are you in on this thing with Telish? I'm new to it, but I'm in on it. Who's the rest of your crew? Don't have another crew. That too. Just me and my animals. Tell us, bring you on for this thing tonight. It was more of a last minute team change. And so I don't think I've been looped into what's happening tonight. Yeah, he should have already left. All right. He seems a little suspicious, but he's hearing you out. And I would like to believe that Brooks is like nodding furiously yeah. beside me, like just backing me up on everything. Well, actually, Brooks is like whole composure has changed once he's around his buddy. He's like just stone faced and he just nods at oh, what you say. Okay. He's like, mm, yeah. Get what she said. <laughs> I'm tough. I'm cool. <laughs> I mean, not in front of my friends. I would... Mom. Mom, not when I'm cleaning my room. Mom. Um, so I kind of, uh, I kind of like, I, I get like a beer or meat or something. I'm putting on my best, best tough act, which is very difficult because like, I'm basically all dark rainbows and, and moonlight right at this point. Um, and, uh, and I'm like, I'm like taking a, take like a swig from, from the drink. And I cough a little because I'm not used to the way that I'm like, uh, uh. um, and I'm like, so what, what is happening tonight? Who's all going? Should I don't know. Brooks be there? Um, tell us uh, should have left hours ago. Uh, he's still he's still not sure about you, and mm -hmm. uh, you notice that he's eyeing a few more people in the bar who just you know just give him a casual nod, and they seem to be turning into stools just enough so they can listen in on the conversation. You notice that the bar is um, the there's people behind the bar like pouring drinks um, mm -hmm. and just like nobody's paying for anything people are just taking stuff off the walls uh and uh nobody here looks like staff that you've seen before oh dear god <laughs> oh dear this god a, this is a real moss eisley cantina situation here <laughs> yeah um spider meat fly yeah um so uh i'm going to um I mean, I'm just going to keep drinking like nothing's like nothing's wrong. I'll stop pressing right. for information because if I feel like he's starting to get a little suspect of me, I'm not going to keep pressing, but I'm also not going to flee. Make me a charisma right. check. That would, that would just be to see how idea. you're, how, uh, how well you're doing putting up a front. Uh, oh my God. I didn't mean for it. just opened the dice roller for me. Yeah, because why not? You have lots of rerolls. <laughs> uh, it's a, it's slash roll or is it slash R? Either yeah. Oh God, I'm, I'm sorry. Bless you. <laughs> Bless you. Oh, I'm keep oh, doing. Man. Okay, got it. Oh, I love oh, how your cereal sneezer. It's one of my favorite things. I'd probably like to reroll that. What's that's your a charisma? 10. What's your charisma? My Christmas is 18. Oh no, that's good. No, oh, you okay. want below, but as high as you can get below. Then so I good. um. Yeah, I have a plus you're... three though. I added a plus three to my charisma, so it's actually a seven. A minus, yeah. Oh, I see. It's a it's so it's a it's more it's a four. It's a four. Okay, it's still a success. So, I mean, you're, okay. you're you're playing it off well. Uh, would you add, or would that be it. subtracting from? It would subtract, so I would be a I'd be a four off okay. that seven. Well, there's no adding or subtracting. You're just rolling a d twenty, oh, and you're under? trying to make under oh. your stack. Oh, okay. Bert, okay. I'm not gonna. I, I gotta confess something, Bert. When I do roll under, I've done it wrong. I've always subtracted. <laughs> I've always subtracted. No, you just so roll thank under you your for stat. Teaching me tonight. Under your stat. <laughs> okay. And the higher okay. you can get, but still under the stat, the better. Okay. Yeah, it's closer to like a crit of the. Yeah, yeah, but, it's yeah, a, yeah. but it's a seven. Yeah, so it's, it's still a success. Seven. I mean, so you're you're playing it off pretty well. You're being casual about it. You're not sweating. Super cash. So, you know, somebody brings over a round of beers and just lays on the table. Uh, again, not somebody that works here, as far as you can tell. Uh, and just kind of goes on and sits down in a chair next to the next table, but now has made himself part of the conversation. Hmm. He's like, he just nods and says, all right, tell us must be expanding. No problem. They'll set you up I with your start... crew soon enough. I like, I want to like kind of look like a little harried a little bit now. I want to be like, it was a bloodbath. It was a bloodbath with those ogres. <laughs> oh, he used ogres this time, did he? Yeah, they're yeah. always good. It's usually yeah. nothing left over but bones and the poop. 
scared the shit out of me i'll tell you that much didn't i even i wasn't expecting it to be like that uh did, did you hear he kind of looks around to a couple of guys he used ogres this time everybody's like oh, yeah, he's ogres <laughs> look up their steins all right good enough good enough <laughs> i'm like I'm like even more afraid because I'm like, oh shit, they're everywhere. Okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah, there are a lot of people in the end that just kind of raise their their steins up. I'm sort of waiting for Brooks to be done, and then I'm just gonna. <laughs> well, I'm... No pun intended. I'm so glad this has become a recurring theme. I'm so proud. Oh, it's like Brooks, watching my beautiful uh... baby boy grow up into the wild. So after it looks like it's your story is accepted, Brooks just said, "Yeah, it went off without a hitch." Uh, he tell us played up like he was helping them out cast sleep on everybody uh, after that all in the cook pot all went as uh, as directed tell us uh, hit the boat shortly afterwards so he's probably to wherever he was heading uh, this guy just nods this is good good shouldn't he should be back tomorrow afternoon sometime then then we can figure things out um so as you're sitting and drinking, the next people that are going to arrive would be, uh, well, <laughs> I guess Tristan and Fiber would, uh, if you're coming oh. to the end, you show up <laughs> with the uh, <laughs> with your cleric in tow, who immediately goes to a bar, to the bar, and says, "Do do you have any of those fabulous boar pies left?" This is one of the people behind the bar. Just looks around, and said, eh, "Here." pulls a pie from a back Wait, window lays it down did they come to the inn where i yes am? yes no no <laughs> they i turn i turn and door. i see them and i'm like i don't know Dion if and i are about to pile in too <laughs> no, i don't know no. if it's boring well, i not, said here's a pie on the house i said we should wait on the outside yeah. oh, okay okay Dion, and that's what we do if you get, said it yeah because yep. i knew that there was going to be a guy that worked there yeah so i didn't want to go in okay that's fair. I'd, I'd follow Dion's lead because that would make sense to me if that's what Dion said. Yep. NPC, I'm with you. <laughs> All right. Tristan, Fiber, you see uh, Odette sitting down and talking to some guys at the table. Uh, she looks a little panicked when she sees you walk in. Okay. I'm just going to ignore her and just walk to the bar. Mm-hmm. Oh, my God. <laughs> and uh, is there anything there to just like a drink like close yeah. at hand? Yeah, yeah. I just, I don't People even just ask. seem to I... be serving themselves out of the, the tap kegs on the wall. They just when going I... up and serving themselves. Yeah. When I, I, when the I see, when I see Thyber walk in, I start getting like very animated and telling the story about what occurred. <laughs> I like stand up on the table and say, and then these giant logs of spears fell out of the sky and rained down death upon everyone and like i'm trying to draw attention and right. you're putting on you know, a show do, you could say fiber was split in twain like you could give him a hint that way you know yeah i'm gonna say <laughs> a man who i once considered a friend now an enemy was split into two left only for the ogres to snack on later like I'm the only survivor. Hint, hint. <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna make an intelligence check. To see yeah, you go, ahead. <laughs> go ahead. Oh, no. I love I this. I fucking love this. Oh no! no. I love this oh, not at no. all. Oh, we have rerolls. Nah, re-rolls. We, we need to save our rerolls. Oak, no. I oak, need to go to the so bathroom while you consider this oak. Uh, oh Tristan, my god! <laughs> how are you reacting to what's going on? Are they reacting to me at all? No. Uh, Odette's kind of become the center of attention, so they haven't really noticed. <clears throat> um, I will wander on out to the toilets. <laughs> There's got to be somebody out There's there an outhouse. doing that. Yes. <laughs> and, uh, yeah. Okay, so you uh, just pop back outside. <laughs> I mean, I assume they're attached to the around in back description I, i'm I mean, just i'm houses. hoping that somebody is there sure so i can just there's a line very of much for whatever you're wearing i am smacking you over the head and changing into a disguise <laughs> sure sure uh so there's uh there's somebody waiting outside hopping on one foot back to the other waiting for the uh person who's in the outhouse to come out um i tell you what uh let's see here he's surprised <laughs> So what do you do? 
sneak no, attack non lethal. <laughs> yeah, that is, uh, I mean, smack yeah, him over the head lethal. with something or uh, wish sure. to render him unconscious. Yeah, uh, just roll me damage. I don't even know what that would be. Uh, what do you have as a weapon? Uh, only uh, dagger and short sword. Okay. You know, I'm going to say, I hit the head and I came back and I hear roll me damage. I'm thinking things didn't go great. <laughs> just roll a, roll a d6 for me. Sure. Except this is outside with the rogue. I'm assuming you said you're not trying to kill him. You're just trying to knock him out. Right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Go ahead. Yeah. That that Maximum does it. Damage. Yeah. That does it. <laughs> Zero level farmer goes down with six hit points. <laughs> All right. Oh man. <laughs> oh gosh. Oh, zero level farmer. You get dumped over the side or in a bush or something, and I put on your clothes and smear my face with mud. Like, <laughs> sure. oh, it's been a hard day's work. You are disguised. All right. Yeah. I uh, sure hope enough. you made sure that was mud. <laughs> it is near the outhouse. I know I'm near the outhouse, <laughs> but yeah. Well, what, the sacrifices you have to make to stay alive. Yeah. Yeah. Just ring the gong on that one. All right. So, uh, good enough, Tristan. You're disguised, uh, grown wolf. So, what are you doing? I mean, you see, Odette is doing some kind of uh, mm -hmm. uh, putting on some kind of performance. Um, the as cleric has ordered a meat, meat pie and is uh, is chomping down. You said you went to get something to drink, right? No. Yeah, no, no, I, I, on, I were you inside? You. I thought you were outside. I thought Grun was. Yeah, yeah. So, so I was, that's what I was going to say. Is I think Dion had suggested as NPC that we wait outside, and Grun would have been like, "I see." Oh no, 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 no. That. They they get here before you do. Yours took longer. Oh, okay, okay, yeah, okay. So yeah, Tristan and Grun Wolf arrive. Or no, excuse me, Tristan and uh, and Fiber arrive yes. before you guys do right so fiber you said you were just going to go and grab something to drink is that what yeah you were, see yeah. them just making themselves i just make myself at home yeah. as well so somebody behind you know behind the bar just like grab a cup yeah we're taking a little collection he points to uh there's a like a pickle barrel that's been emptied and people have been throwing coins in it there's like a abraham's over in a cell somewhere we're just uh you know Helping ourselves and uh, throwing some into the kitty there in case he needs a little money later. All right. And I'll, uh, let me see if I do. I have any coins. <coughs> Where is coin going? Yeah, I got, I'll throw a silver in there. All right. Yeah. It looks like people actually have been putting money in there. They're not completely freeloading. <laughs> Then I'm going to go look, see if there's any mutton in the kitchen. Yeah, there are actually people in there. Some people that uh, are able to cook have started to uh, make sure the fire has continued to go, and they've just been putting provisions out. Uh, a couple of people in there just give you give you a nod and say, we don't know how long Abraham's going to be locked up for. This stuff's going to go bad. You might as well make use of it. Agreed. I'll grab some for me in the uh, uh, what's-his-face we brought with. Mm -hmm. Not uh, take it to him. Fiber is half-orc? Yep. Yeah, so one of the people that are back here doing some cooking uh, looks like he's uh, he might have a little orc in him. He's not like maybe quarter orc, you know, somebody somebody in the right. family. He kind of looks you up and down, gives a grunt and says, eh, don't get too many of you around here. You know, there was nah. a ship that came in a couple of days ago. Were you on that? No, nah, I've come in from the Pomar. Traveled a long way. <laughs> I'll say you did. You got lost along the way, too, I think. Uh, he hands you, like, a, a boar leg. Here. It's mostly good. <laughs> Thanks. Yeah, mm -hmm. I mean, people don't seem to really recognize uh, you too much there, uh, Fiber, or apparently care that are back here, anyway. Uh, okay. So, Tristan, uh, you are you are disguised. Are you going to head back in? Are you going to hang outside? Yep. What are you doing? My idea is to go back in and find... Uh... Fiber and okay. say, hey, we got to lay low, sort of. All right, so you find Fiber then, all right? So, yeah, I'm eating with the. Uh, with, is he? He's not the priest. He's just the dude that works there, right? I cannot. I'm bad with remembering. Oh, the, well, he's the he's the priest. Yeah, he priest. is the high priest. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yep. He's he's at the bar, right? Yeah. The guy yeah, that was talking to you and handed you the boar leg is the uh, the other blacksmith that's in town that works on uh, uh, more iron works. Uh, he looks like, okay. again, like he may have some work in his heritage somewhere. Um, all right. So, yeah. So, Tristan, you say what you say. Just <laughs> you need to <laughs> hang low. 
Yeah. yeah we're kind of like, we are. <laughs> and it's keep uh, hands on food too. He's totally oblivious. Like what's, yeah. what's he knows that like, Hey, we're not supposed to be known that who we are. So he's like, yeah, well, I didn't come in on the ship, but as for like, we shouldn't be here. No, it doesn't wreck it. It's not <laughs> it's sitting with him. Not going anywhere. Yeah. And nobody's acting any different. So he's completely like, why is there an issue? Uh, Odette, let's see how long you can keep people distracted for Make me another charisma check. Okay. This has nothing to do with them believing you. This is just how much longer you can keep them enthralled. If, if I'm if I'm telling a good story, yeah. is like the real thing. Mm. I'm gonna re-roll that one, okay. please. Yes. Sure. There okay. we go. Yep. Yeah, I mean, actually, he's really enthralling. You're really going into a lot of detail, ad libbing here and there. People are uh, you know, making sure the drinks get refilled at your table. More peeing hanger ons are surrounding your table and kind of listening mm -hmm. in as to what's going on. A lot of them are coming in like midway through your story, so they don't know, you know, so you don't potentially know that all these people that are surrounding you are guild members. They're just kind of listening in. I mean, they might be. You don't know for sure, but you're telling this very loud vocal story. Um, which brings us to Grown Wolf and NPC uh, who arrive. You know, looking at the window, you can see that there's uh, there's somebody performing at a table. Um, what do you guys do? Just we're going to wait outside until yeah. they're done. We're well, simple going Vulcan. In there. We don't want to rock the boat. We don't want to make things worse. We kind of in intuited that us being alive is a problem. <laughs> All right, so Barrowman uh, is, actually... is with you. So he's like, what, so what's the, what's the deal? Are we going inside? Uh, we're we're, we're yeah. waiting for the rest of our party. And uh, Grown Wolf, do you have a cloak or anything? Because you should really wear a hood right now. Uh, I don't think there's many furry people like you around here. You kind of <laughs> stick out. Yeah, I I, uh, I I have, that's kind of what he wears is kind of a cloak and stuff. So I'll, okay. I'll probably like cinch it up, put it over my head, try to be inconspicuous and link, sh slink into the shadows with you. Well, I've worked up quite a thirst today. You mind if I go in and get a you beer? Uh, mm. The people who work for the guild are in there, I think. Well, they wouldn't know me. I mean, I've been in this town for years. It's not like they don't know my face. Y you know what? It wouldn't be the worst gamble. Just stick to yourself. Don't say much and, and act as though you're a normal townsfolk going to get dinner and you might be fine, right, NPC? Yeah, maybe. Yeah. Yeah, I want to find out what the word is about Abraham, too, so. I mean, mm -hmm. keep that on the down low as much as you can, I think. Say as little as possible. Get your food that you need and get out, I'd say. Oh, I just want to hear the gossip. Everybody knows he's been taken to the castle. Okay. Mm. Okay, that's fair. Just be behave normally as you would without knowing that there were guild members in there then. Okay. Odette, Odette uh, Barrowman comes into the bar next. He kind of looks around. Uh, he nods at uh, your storytelling at the table and goes and... Uh, I guess he goes to the to the bar, so Thyber and uh, I'm, Tristan. I'm just, like, slowly dying as yeah. I see everybody walking in. And this nobody like... has clued me into this, and I'm I'm super, super freaked out. Like, I'm like, what's happening right now? <laughs> you disguise it by drinking more beer as you're taking a break. <laughs> All right, so everybody is in this inn now. We'll have a couple of you outside. Um Around your table, Odette, uh, there's a good, you know, there's there's about six people around this table that are continuing to listen. It seems like some of them seem to be in the know. They never directly refer to the guild. It's always like, hey, that thing we have going on, mm. you know. Would uh, you would you say a good subtitle for this episode is indisposed? <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Uh, Bosmar actually is talking shop to people there quite openly now about uh, what he's gotten in, what he smuggled in. Uh, he's like, "Hey, yeah, we got some, uh, we got some of that new tax. We could, you know, we got some of that wine that came in from Restonford, hard to get. I'll cut you a deal, say ten silver pieces a bottle." So he seems to be dealing, doing some some business while he's at the table too, and just just unabashed about about it about flaunting, bringing in tax-free, duty-free uh, liquors from other other places. Um, yeah, it's, it seems like a lot of people, this is this is a hangout of sorts for the underground, uh, <laughs> the underworld of the area. All right, so you're, Odette, you're, they, they seem to believe you, um, so nothing else is happening on that front. Um, everybody's masked here at the end. Um, 
what do you do? What do any of you do? Are we done here now, my ball? I... Oh, Waiting on the guys. others to show up. I thought we were meeting at the theater. I thought we just stopped in here so we could get something to eat. I thought we were all meeting here. Oh, I don't know. I guess the plan's all... Well, oh, you know what? It got transposed. You're not meeting there. You're M-E-A-T-I-N-G there. You're meeting there. <laughs> oh, oh. So oh. How, how long have we, have we have me and Tristan been here since we 20 minutes. Up? About 20 minutes. Okay. I'll say at that point, I just take what, if I have any food left and uh, tap the priest on the shoulder. I'm like, we, we got to find the others. Oh yeah, um, he reaches in the we'll pocket. Start to leave. He's got. He looks. He looks to see what came out of his pocket. There's a couple of gold coins in there. He's like, mm, he throws it in the pickle jar. Now I'll start walking out. Is this all part of what you wanted me for? And you know, he's not trying to lower his voice or anything. It's so <laughs> he's like, you said you had some problem you needed help with. Uh, yeah, my friends have more info on that. We got to find them. Okay. Uh, and as he's going by the table, he uh, he reaches out and says, Oh, I know you! To Odette. You were in that house that other night. Yeah. I start. Oh, my God. Um, I'm still well, telling my go, story. I, I just kind of push him to keep going out the door. <laughs> okay. But isn't that one of your friends? Uh, some people start looking now. <laughs> I just kind of under my breath I, I'm like shut up and move. I I pull out like the big guns and I give like the like the and that's when my <laughs> ex-friend NPC was slathered with oil and his skin was peeled from his body All inch right. by inch in gruesome detail. I'm going to I'm just going to roll here for <laughs> them. <laughs> oh shit. And I tighten my grip on my axe as we're walking out. <laughs> So I pull out my gun. And the <laughs> shank of and the, and, and the pig shank. <laughs> I'll, I'll dual wield my battle axe and a pig shank. So as uh, you guys are uh, making your way through the inn, um, Grown Wolf and uh, NPC on the outside, uh, coming up the road, uh, one person you recognize, NPC, is the Dwarven Smith, who kind of, his eyes get really big when he sees you. And then he's like, oh. He nods, puts a smile on his face, and he goes into the inn. And then I, uh, uh, running up the road, you guys uh, see, you know, he's not close to the inn yet, but there's somebody, like, really just booking it towards the inn. He's wearing, like, alkalite robes. You've seen what the members of the church wear, like the lay brothers wear. It looks like somebody, a member of the church, is, like, running towards the inn. Hmm. Uh, so, yeah, so this dwarf wanders into the inn he looks around and he sees odette at the table his eyes get a little big and he's like goes to the table or goes to the bar pulls a drink and he sits down at a chair nearby your table odette like he's listening to what you're saying but then he's like leaning over and whispering into some ears of the people near him i turn to brooks and i say it's time to go <laughs> I say, oh, you know, I'm Brooks, so glad I done. got to share my first story. Brooks, we're done. Thank you, Oak, so much. Um, I I say, now that I've told my tale and made myself known. All right. Uh, so, yeah, so leave. as you get up and uh, Brooks nods, and again, he's being, he's not being, you know, the fun guy that you charmed, really. So he's like, he's not like, yeah, business is done here. I'm going to show mm -hmm. her, I'm going to show her some of the locations. And, uh, Bosmar just smiling. He said, like, you yeah, know, well, it's good to meet a, a new member. And then the dwarf leans over, whispers something into his ear. Uh, this is initiative time. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> Odette. No. Uh, no. right For only roll. Odette or am I still in there? You're, you guys didn't make it out. Nice. Okay. So everybody's oh, still morning. in there. Uh, so roll me a D6. Jen. Sorry, I don't know how long ago it was that, that Morgan said hi. Uh, not that long ago. Okay. I rolled a three. All right.
fully equipped, the only thing I'm going to say to him is, hey, if you want healing, tell us who he's killing. Otherwise, down to the dungeons with you. All right. Oh, uh, that that's simple then. He doesn't know. He doesn't know. Tell us he accepted a contract, he thinks. Uh, but he's definitely off to kill someone tonight. What dirt do you have on him? Maybe if Telish goes away, you take over the guild. Well, it's not exactly much of a guild left now, is there? <laughs> no. Oh, well. You would know who's uh, trustworthy, at least. I know some. Only Telish knew everybody. Well, you, you say either... that. I mean, yeah. Brooks said that as well. And then when we went to the bar, everybody was meeting there. So... So yeah, no, not everybody the there was, was not everybody okay. there was part of the guild. There are people that we associate with. There are a lot of criminals there for sure. Right, you know, I know, but it's just your operational security is very <laughs> sloppy. I, I totally agree with you, Tristan. Not to mention, you have two choices here: what's left of the guild, or be killed. So maybe you kind of help us here. Maybe you can, uh, yeah. I could lie to you and just give you a name, but I don't know. Tristan never tells us who his targets are. Tristan never tells Tristan us who his targets are. Tell us. <laughs> he wings at Tristan. <laughs> ah. <laughs> oh shit! I immediately stab Tristan. Uh, I whiff at Tristan for five minutes. <laughs> I slap fight Tristan for the remainder of the session. Sounds like we got what we can from him, then. If there's anyone in the guild that might know, it'd be the bookkeeper. And do you know who that is? Only tell us you knew who the bookkeeper was. Oh, my God. It's fucking our mess. Um, well, I mean, that's a, it's a smart <laughs> move. <laughs> that's who I'm thinking, too, Jen. So your it's exasperation there is perfect. <laughs> I kind of I look at our mess when I hear that, and I go, what, are, what do you do here? In the castle? What I are you in books. charge of? I'm one of the formerly three that run the city. We're an elected did, group. Did Did you do bookkeeping at all? No, no, no. It's not my forte. No, not at all. Can you read? <laughs> you know how to double add? Bookkeeping. <laughs> Tell us about your bookkeeping. I mean, bookkeeping. Was, uh, was yeah. the other council uh, member good at bookkeeping? No, we have a staff for that. that keeps track of the taxes and where everything's going it's n hmm. none of us just on a wild no. trial maybe what if we go ask the girl you know in our house if she's if she sneaks around and overhears things or recognizes people hmm. maybe she's got some info. I, i'm just i'm still super amazed at how composed you are this entire time i mean you just found out that someone who worked alongside you was the lead of an assassin's guild when you guys are all clearly in a massive power political struggle and you seem completely unfazed about all of this i mean you, you seem really expectant to get us out of here a good politician is well versed in keeping their mask present i'll not lie what you brought forward to me furthers my own position. It's true. Um, with the ruling council now cut down to two until the next election, my power is magnified. The things that I want to do for a Garotten is going to be easier to accomplish now. This is all true. Did you hire the Baron to be killed? Myself? No. Undoubtedly, I... if they're an Assassin's Guild, someone did. Can I incite her on that? You want to see if she's lying? You can make, yeah. yeah. Make me make me a check. What is it? Wisdom? Intelligence. Intelligence. Yeah. I don't pass it. Does everybody else want to roll it? Just yeah, for anybody funsies, that wants to roll please? it, please. Yeah, I'll, I'll give it a shot. I just want to catch her and see if we can, uh, like, it genuinely in character, too. I crit, I crit My character is like, I crit succeeded. Okay. On the four, I got a 14 of sure. 14. She's not lying, Odette. But she knew Tristan was the assassin uh, leader. She's not lying in the fact that she didn't pay him, but she knew. If you knew that this was up, why didn't you say anything about it? As I said, we are a ruling council of three. Who's the third? Well, the R third, our max was... I got it right. Oh. How will she say she was? 
Tisk had she was with Tristan in the dark. Uh, she was with Tellish. Uh, their words would always overrule simply mine. Unless proof could be brought, I would just as likely be put in my own dungeon for suggesting it. Fair. With, with that I in mean, mind, how many people were capable of paying such a bounty? We're going to you keep know? your same role, uh, Odette. She's not lying about that part of it. Okay. Yeah. Never let a good tragedy go to waste. Exactly. I mean, you do you think that they might be working together? It's possible. I mean, I mean, I'm taking a great deal of what you're saying as truth, which may or may not hold up in any kind of legal sense. But I don't see why you would lie. You have no your your travelers. You have nothing here. You've no stake in anything here. Why would hmm. you lie? That yeah. is the tack that I'm taking. I mean, you're right. We just want to get the hell out of here. and We've been roped into this and almost killed multiple times. Okay, I so still we... smell like pork fat. You haven't showered. It, it's true. It, no, I have not. <laughs> Are we saying that the the other council member we think may be the one who did the hiring? Maybe. No, I doubt it. Uh, I very much doubt that. If she and Tellish were in this together, they, they, they would have had their own reason to do it. They wouldn't have taken payment. Do you understand if, if both of them were in on this? Aren't we it assuming no there sense. was payment, or do we know there was payment? If there How do assassins pay? operate? Uh, surely there was payment from someone. Yeah, I would agree, but that would be an assumption. It's true. Maybe that's a payment for power at a later point. We won't I mean, know until we question Tellish. I mean, who Does gains... this other council member, does, do they have any enemies or rivals in this other town that they would want to... Well, as a group... Um... The two cities do not, we are, um, we're competing for the same resources. Anything that befalls one city to the detriment is going to help the other. Uh, as soon as she says that, I'm going to mention that we learned that Telish was running the Raiders uh, to, to the benefit right. of a protection racket. Um, this, you don't have to roll for. There's genuine surprise on her face at that. Okay. Do you, oh, yeah. uh, do you know if that would benefit anyone besides Telish? Do you, do you think that there's... The Raiders attack both cities. Uh, mm. I would have said equally. Mm. Is it only when those attacks have happened, have there been any... What's the the key factor? What, what goods were in more than any other time? Um, she pauses at that for a moment, and then she summons a few servants who basically bring her books. Um, mm. and she looks through it and so this ah, is a bookkeeping. Th yeah, this I was going to say, you said you didn't have the books. <laughs> Hell. Stab, stab. Now, that someone brings her these books and she said, these are, this is a ledger of what the merchants claim they have lost in every raid. And she goes through and she's, she's like, well, there's definitely a pattern. Um, I wasn't aware of arms, weapons, armor each time. So sim amassing for an army. Or securing loot for the guild. Or just beefing up the raiders. What do assassins need with that kind of heavy armaments? Mm -hmm. Now, is this something like light stuff? Does this, does this look like a what you would gear for war? It's, all, it's pretty basic stuff. It's like maces, swords, uh, chain... Uh, some leather it's mm. it's not all the same stuff but it's all arms and armor none of it particularly you know we're not talking like plate mail and really you know well-crafted swords here this is all what you would you would equip like a an infantry or a small mercenary um, company a mercenary group with yeah mm. yeah probably just to beef their arms up to make their raids more successful if anything. But that seem you're raiding to make sure you can raid better. What's well, because, there, where's the profit because, in that? Because you might have been getting a protection racket from from people in town. Like we'll make sure mm. the raiders don't raid you. Well, you can remember when the raider when you first came in, the raiders that you fought were all mm. wearing um, 
less than what she's describing to you. So they were wearing like uh, oh, very right. crude leathers, leathers yeah. hand axes, very crude mm. shields. So they're not using what they're stealing. Hmm. We're outfitting another militia or something. Marshal law on uh, someone? Uh, when or what?